Hi everyone, welcome again. In this Python for test tutorial, we are going to learn about the list methods in Python. The list methods that you see on my screen are very common and easy methods to understand and will be really helpful when we are doing the Python development or doing Selenium automation using Python programming language. So let's understand these methods one by one and then I'll demo these uh, methods one by one. Okay. So the first method you see is list.append. So what exactly it means is it basically it will add an item to the end of the list, right? So whatever item in uh, the parameter in the argument X that you'll pass will basically be appended at the end of the list. Then insert will insert the item X at a particular index. So here if you see I comma X, so X is the value and i is the index so say for example you want to add the value at uh, position second or third then you can specify insert rather than append append will append all the time at the end of the list then remove will remove uh, the first item from the list whose value will be equal to x so for example a list has a couple of values and you want to remove the items from the list you can specify which item you want to remove and the first item that has matched to the value of x that you will pass will get removed. So pretty easy, simple methods. Then pop is another method. So remove and pop are sort of similar. So remove will remove the first item. Pop will remove the item at a particular position. So for example, you want to remove item from a particular index or position, then use pop instead of remove. Then we have the next method, which is basically getting the index of the value. So dot index if you want to specify or get the value of a particular uh, get get the index of particular value which you pass in x then it will return the index and if you specify start and end index it will find it will try to find out that particular value within that range if you specify start and end and and these are optional so we'll demo that as well now if we say list dot count it will count the number of items or number of times the x uh, has appeared in the list pretty easy simple sort will sort the items in the list reverse will reverse the items in the list copy will return the copy of the list which is basically you know just exact copy and then clear will remove all the items from the list so pretty self-explanatory methods very simple to use and very easy to learn so let's go to pycharm and understand these methods so here i'm in pycharm let me quickly create a new file and i'll create a python file and i'll name it as list uh, methods okay now before we understand the list methods i would also like to navigate you to the page where you can find all these methods in the google documentation in the python documentation so go to google.com and search for python documentation right so that's the source of truth and it's good to navigate to the python docs and understand all these methods there so go to python tutorial so in python docs go to tutorial and in the tutorial if you search for data structures okay so data structure here click on data structure and you will see all under more on list you will see all these methods that I'm going to explain under this list and it has all the explanation what exactly these methods do okay so this is source of truth this is the documentation official documentation of Python and very helpful when you are trying to learn Python okay now let's go back to the PyCharm and here I'll define a list and the variable for the list I'll name it as cities and I'll add the city so as we have understood that list starts with or list can be defined with the square brackets and the items within the list so i can use single quotes and double quotes for the strings so i'll say the city name as delhi so i can have multiple items there and i'll say um, mumbai then i will say uh, melbourne comma separated sydney and then let's say have Kolkata. All right, so this um, list 
is of cities which contain a couple of cities in there okay now let's understand what all methods we are going to demo here so i'll quickly copy all the methods that we are going to understand today and let me comment this out okay so now so for example i want to understand the append method so append will append an item in this particular list at the end so say for example if i do cities dot append and in append i want to append the new city to this particular list i'll just specify the value of the new city and use the method append and let's say i'll print the cities here okay let me print before and then print after so we'll see the difference after append okay so if i run this now you will see the append method has appended a new value lucknow into this particular whole list right so this was the initial list and then we appended the value and the value got appended at the end of the list okay so that's the append method now let me comment that out and let me explain the insert and what's the difference between the append and insert so if i want to insert a value at a specific location so what i can do is i can say insert and then i can insert a value a city at a particular index okay so what i can do is i can specify the index and the value right so i have to first specify the index so i can specify the index for example i want to insert the value lucknow after delhi so i can specify the index as one right so delhi delhi is at zero and then at one index lucknow will be inserted and then if we we'll print it then it will print delhi lucknow mumbai melbourne sydney and kolkata All right so if i run this now you can see that it has printed delhi lucknow mumbai melbourne sydney and kolkata right so that's what the difference is between the append and insert so with that with the insert you can insert a value at any particular location within the list but with append it will always append at the last now the remove method so whatever value is specify from the list that value will get removed so for that first value will get removed now say for example i want to remove mumbai from this particular list so what i can do is i can say cities dot remove and specify the value so i'll say mumbai and mumbai will get removed so if i run this now you will see that it has a new list here so delhi lucknow and mumbai is no more there okay so whatever the first value will be there say for example here there are two cities with mumbai right so in that particular case what will happen is this first one will get removed and second one will still be remain there okay so if i run this now you will still see that it has one mumbai there which is basically this one remains so with the remove it will remove the first instance of that matching value from the list okay now the next method is pop method and what pop will do is it will remove the item at a particular index say for example i want to remove melbourne so melbourne is at index 0 1 2 and 3 so what i can do is i can simply say cities dot pop and i can specify the index of that particular value so melbourne is at 3 and now in the new list melbourne will not be there anymore right so if i print it you can see delhi lucknow mumbai sydney and kolkata are printed right so that's what pop method will do clear will clear all the items in the list so i'll cover it in the last so index is again it will uh, specify or will provide the index of a particular value so for example i want to get the index of the melbourne okay in the list so what i can do is i can simply provide or let me print it out okay so i'll say print cities dot index right and in index what i can specify is that say for example i want to get the index of melbourne i'll specify the value of that particular item and run it and something wrong there so index of the particular value oh okay sorry 
So here, if you see the error, the values, uh, uh, value error, so Melbourne is not in the list because what we have done is we have already popped out Melbourne from the list. So these are the little things that you will understand when you basically read the error messages. So just don't keep practicing. Uh, also, uh, give a, you know, deep understanding around the error message because the solutions are hidden in the error messages. So as you can see that I have popped that particular item. That's why it's not in the list. So now if I uncom if I comment that pop statement and run this, it will return me the number three or the index three where this particular value is. Okay. So that's what the index will do. Now in terms of count, it will count the, uh, the number of occurrences of particular value. Say for example, I want to find how many times this Melbourne has appeared in the list. So what I can do is I can simply use the method count and then it will return how many times the item Melbourne is there in the list. So at the moment it's just one. So it will return one. If I change it to Mumbai, then Mumbai is there in the list twice. So it will return the occurrences. So number of times. So it's two this time. So it has uh, returned one. Let's see the reason for that. So here you can see that I have removed Mumbai. So there is no more. So after this statement, the list updated list contains only one Mumbai. So if I comment this, then it will return two. Okay. Because I'm removing one occurrence. So now the list contains two Mumbai uh, occurrences in the cities and that is why if I say count now it has returned the count as two. Okay. So you have to make sure when you are practicing that what statements you have used above the statement that you are trying to practice and then ensure that none of the statements that you have used are manipulating the list and then you are you just keep uh, you know debugging what exactly is going on. So many times you will get the solution in the errors. But in case not, then just look for the because here I had removed the item. So that is why there was no more item and it was printing one. If I commented that out, now I can see this is the list. And in this list, there are two occurrences of Mumbai and those are being printed. Okay. So count is done. Then sort will sort the list. So I'll say, for example, let's say um, sort. So I'll say cities dot sort. Okay. And after sorting, I'm printing the cities. So let's see what is the updated list. So now you can see it has been sorted alphabetically. Okay. So D, K, L, M, 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 and then S, right? So this is what sort function will do. Then in the reverse, it will reverse the order. So say, for example, after sorting, I want to reverse. Okay. So after reversing, let's see what is printed. So you can see it printed, it reversed. So after sorting, it reversed the order, sorted order. And now Sydney, Mumbai, and then all the overall list has been printed. Okay, so let me print these two after sorting and after reversing so that you can see the difference. So you can see after sorting, it's Delhi, Kolkata, Lucknow, Melbourne, Mumbai, Mumbai, and Sydney. And after reversing, it's the last item first and then accordingly it has reversed the whole list okay now the copy will copy the list so if so for example i'll say cities dot copy and i store it in the new cities okay and print new cities as well so let me print new cities and then it will basically copy the exact same list into the new cities and the new cities will print. Okay. Now the last one is basically clear. So clear will clear the list and make it as empty. So I can say uh, new cities. So for example, new cities I want to clear. So I can say new cities dot clear or not close dot clear and then I'll store it into, let's say clear or just print it. Okay. So let me print. So here you can see none has been printed because the whole list has been cleared. 
okay so you can do in a similar way you can assign a variable to it so say for example i'll say updated uh, list and then print updated list okay so here i can do the same thing and you can see none has been printed because this new list uh, or the new cities has been cleared so there are no items and that is why none has been printed in the updated list all right so this is a brief introduction about the key methods that you can use in the list these are very simple and very important methods so please go through and practice these along with the documentation that i have shown you here so more on the list go through read the items practice a lot because this is going to help you a lot in selenium automation with python and in general python programming so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching